Hey guys, Jason here from Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, we're going to go over toolpath templates in Maker Plus. To create a toolpath template, we first have to have some toolpaths. I have imported a 3D model. And we're just going to generate a 3D relief toolpath. Going to have selected vector. We're going to pick a 1 16th taper ball nose bit. I'm doing this project in some walnut. And so I'm going to set my feed rate and my plunge rate for what I normally would cut my walnut with. We're going to select the roughing tool. And we're going to pick the quarter inch Jenny compression bit. Going to set this for offset starting on the insides and we'll cut both directions we're going to use an allowance of 0 0.03 going to set up my safe z home z we're going to define our material inch and a half and now that we have all of our settings for this project we can go ahead and calculate we're also going to generate a profile tool path to cut this out outside we're going to have sharp corners our finished depth is inch and a half we're going to pick a bit this time we're going to use a quarter inch down cut end mill i have my speeds and feed set and we're also going to add bridges i'm going to add one here and here and we're going to calculate that if we simulate this this will have completed our tool pathing for our 3d model one of the great features of maker plus is the toolpath templates and what a toolpath template is is when you want to repeat the same settings for another project and another toolpath and you don't want to have to regenerate all of those toolpaths so in this example we've generated a machine relief toolpath and we have all of our settings with our quarter inch Jenny compression and our 1 16th taper ball nose and we also have our profile pass with our quarter inch down cut end mill we already have all of our settings set up for this now what we can do is create a toolpath template and I'm just going to create this toolpath template and there's a section carve co toolpath templates and we're going to call this toolpath template 3d relief models once I save that anytime that I open open up a new project and we're just going to go to a new model like we're starting all over and I'm just going to pull out a new relief model we're going to use a different relief model let's just grab this deer and paste it down now instead of setting up all of our tool paths again all I have to do is go back to my tool path template and pick the 3d relief model template and it's going to load up all of those tool paths that we have already created and when we open these up you can see that it still has all of the bit settings from that previous bit so it saved our feed rate and it also saved all of our offset settings the only thing that it didn't bring forward was the material so we still have to define the material for this project so we can put in our one and a half inches oh wait let's select a vector and calculate and then for the profile toolpath it also saved all of our settings including our bridge lengths and our bridge width we do have to place those bridges so i would still have to come in and tell it where i'd want to put my bridges at so we could put a bridge here and we could put a bridge here and then all we have to do is calculate and we didn't have to set up those tool paths it's a really great way to have settings for specific wood types you can have a 3d relief model for pine you could have one set up for your hardwoods and it just it's a very quick and easy way to get organized and that's the power of the toolpath template in maker plus before we part ways a quick reminder to check out our discount codes in the description below for some sweet deals on your cnc essentials if you've enjoyed this video hit the like button share this video until next you... time let's keep crafting keep sharing and let's make bit happen see you on the next one